Hey guys, welcome back to the Sense Pop channel. Today we are going to take a look at the new expansion set uh, that has been reviewed by Bandai. So the release date, it's going to be on the January the 17th, which is uh, about a month from now and uh, selling at an MSRP of $17.99, so around $18. Um, there's going to be two expansion set. One is the Search of the Saiyan, the Saiyan Search, and the other one is the Namekian Search, right? So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look uh, at what are you going to get for your 18 uh, for $17.99, all right? So what you're going to get is a 49 cards in total, including 13 new cards. Um, you're going to have series 8 booster packs of 3 packs, so 12 per cards that would make up uh, 30, 36. And then you get a new leader card and you get new promotions card, 10 of them and uh, 5 of each. Uh, two of each so you have five uh, new promotion cards and you're gonna get two of each that basically means that for you to in order for you to get a play set you need to buy uh, two packs of this to get a play set of every cards and then you have a random new special texture uh, silver foil thumbs two um, so out of this ten uh, five cards Two of them will be, uh, you get an additional two of them, which is uh, four. So you have 10, 2, 12, 36, 48, and then uh, 1. Uh, 36 cards will come up from Series 8 booster packs. So there's a chance that you might pull uh, something pretty good from that, right? But in terms of new cards, it's just uh, 10, 2, so 12, 13 new cards out of this 49 are new. All right. So it's going to be the same with the Namekian, so uh, that's uh, what I'm not going to do. Let's take a look straight into the card list, right? Alright, so expansion set, say and search. Let's take a look, this is everything. Alright, so let's take a look at the first card. Uh, Sun Goku Nimbus Voyager. So this is one cost 5k. If your leader card is red, you and you place this card in its owner's area. So activate main, right? Uh, auto. If you do that, it doesn't matter. When this card attacks a battle card, if that card has 225k power or less, KO it. So this card can KO anything that is a 25k or less because it doesn't say it's choose. Basically, it gets around barrier uh, if you can attack into it. The, the thing is you have to attack into it, then you activate this auto instead of letting the attack go through, just uh, discard this card and it's you are able to do it from the board, right? So Vegeta, time for vacation. <laughs> All right, so critical, three cost 20k critical. Whoa, pretty strong already. So place this card in its owner's drop area. You get to choose one red or yellow Sun Goku card with an energy cost of two in your hands or drop area and play it. So this card, it's pretty, pretty uh, good. Let's take a look at the leader. This is the front, right? He's already going Super Saiyan in the front. And uh, one of the thing is, if you realize this leader, it's both red and yellow that's how the multicolor cards are they are both red and they are both uh they are both red and yellow so when this card attacks draw two cards Ooh, then choose one card from your hands and place it in your drop area really good because it goes through your deck pretty fast right awaken search so this is awaken search the new one you choose one red card and one yellow card in your hands and place them under this card you may draw three cards then choose up to one of your energy switch it to active mode and flip this card over so there is no life limitation there is no uh like an energy limitation if you choose one red card and one yellow card in your hands and place it so two cards underneath it you may draw three cards and choose up to one of energy switch it like oh you can awaken let's see what is on the back the the artwork itself it's really really nice um this guy 15k oh it's really beautiful and usually if it comes in foil oh it's and texture for it, it's gonna look so great. Activate main once per turn. If your life is five or less, and you choose one card, one card under this card, and place it in its owner's drop area, choose one. All right. So one thing, your life has to be five or less before you activate this. Of course, you could whenever, whatever, whenever you could flip it, right? Just whenever you can, you want to do it, you can flip it. However, in order for you to flip it. Uh, in order for you to get the uh, ability, 
it's either main or battle you uh, once per turn this is really good because if it's activate battle that means you can do it during your opponent's turn right during a battle if your life is five or less you get to choose one card so you just put two cards underneath your leader when you awaken so maybe you might want to have four if you prefer a longer game because for the effect that you have to do it right uh you get to choose all of your opponent's battle card ignore barrier and you get their skills for the duration of the turn this card gets plus 10k and critical for the duration of the turn so he doesn't draw when he's uh awakened so you have to think how you want to play this right because the other part uh, draws to discard one over here you draw nothing and you need this to have the effect yep all right so this is pretty interesting i would like to see how uh the pros or the community how they're gonna handle this leader for me i will do my own testing and hopefully let's see how it works all right so some gohan videl power couple this is adolescence and videl okay cool because you can use it in a bomber's deck Woo! activate main two cost 15k definitely it's a good one because it's some gohan adolescence and videl you could really use it for both effects that's really good for boma right when you want to bring out that god strike Sun Goku. Alright, activate main. If your leader is yellow, oh, Boomer can't do it. <laughs> you may place this card from your hands into drop area, draw one card, then choose up to two of your opponent's battle card, ignoring barrier. They get minus 5k for the duration of the turn. Pretty good. Uh, well, this is also really, really nice when it comes to the artwork. Uh, the battle card played, it's played in rest mode, then counter play, two costs, and uh, play this card pretty good because it then says choose that means you could play it in for any cards i can see this card being uh played yep especially when it comes to uh boma's deck because uh he, he it's a sun go tanks and a uh, trunks youth um it's gonna get so good uh you get to have a 15k blocker and then you stop one battle card from being attack uh from attacking yep and almighty resistance if a leader card is red you choose one yellow card from your hand place it in the drop area negate the counter attack <laughs> skill wow for two costs counter counter this card it's gonna be amazing yeah boma it's gonna be pretty amazing <laughs> all right so let's take a look at the namakian search search all right let's take a look at the uh the cards here yeah? so krillin two cost heavy kick krillin so if your leader card it's blue uh two cost 5k if there's a multicolor card in your energy when you combo this card it gets 5k uh combo for the for the for the power of the, for the duration of the turn so it's a 10k combo that has nothing that need not need to spend anything okay master roshi kamehameha origins uh two cost 5k if your leader card is green and you send this card from a drop area to your warp choose one green extra card from drop area and set it and send it and uh add it into your hands if you add this card from your drop area to your warp choose one okay okay let's take a look at the leader so far the two cards i'm not too sure but i need to take a look at the leader and maybe they're playing off some uh things that comes out from the leader right so once per turn look at the top cards of your deck place one card place the card on the bottom top or bottom of your deck and then you draw a card. this card it's amazing this card it's amazing choose one blue um you could argue that Goku is better though, because you just draw two, but it, it decks out pretty fast. This does not, you could say, okay, I don't like this, I put it underneath it, right? Then you draw off the other one. Okay, choose one blue card, green card in your hands, place this under this card. You may draw three cards, then choose up to one of your energies, switch it to active mode, and flip this card over. So, um... All right, I'm not too sure if you could choose da, 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 and not activate this. I, I I think you have to. So after you do the awaken search, you kind of have two turns to make that effect go through before uh, you, you, you finish, right? So it's very, very important actually for you to learn or get a feeling on how to awaken this leader. Yeah. So let's see the back wall this looks really nice if your life is three or less you also you really want to awaken when your life is three or less you may choose one card underneath 
under this card, place it in the owner's drop area. You get to choose one. The opponent chooses two cards from their hands and send it to their warp. So activate battle. Then when you uh, when your opponent attacks, take another card and make him send four cards. Or you choose one blue, green, multicolor card in the drop area, negate its exhaust and place them in your energy. So you can play it in active mode. Pretty good leader. I actually prefer this one. Ah, but let's see. All right. So Kaioken uh, Goku returns uh, to cause 15k energy exhaust. Revive blue, green. Kill this card. Okay, activate auto. Also, you kill this card when one of your opponent's battle card with energy or less negates the attack. Okay, so when this thing happens, you pay this price and then you negate the attack. Okay, 15k. It does not need to be in active mode, so that's good. Oh, now we have a new one. Blocker, when this card is placed in your drop area from your hands by an opponent skill or by a revive skill, uh, it's placed in your drop area from your hands or by a revive skill you may play this card so you can use you can do revive and then this guy comes back right because dr uh kojin koshin uh can play off you can use it to bring dr koshin back take one card put it into your uh, field and this guy comes out and then uh you can use this put it in the drop area and this guy comes out and then now you have a 15k blocker on on your board pretty good um, let's see if this is as good as the Goku uh, counter counter, all right? Counter play. Oh, it's a counter play, two course. If your leader is green, if the battle card being played has an energy of four or less, it is placed in its owner's drop area instead of being played. Then choose up to one of your green. Um, okay, this is this this is pretty good. This it's is pretty pretty good. Alright, so this is the end of the video so far. I pre I like it. What I really like is uh, actually it's gonna help Boomer so much because of the uh, the gold tanks and the uh, trunks youth, right? So you could counter play and then you have a 15k blocker and you could uh, tap one of the opponents. So that is pretty good. It it really plays around quite a lot of. Um, it really increased the Bowman's deck uh, potential. So I see a lot of uh, Bowman's deck potential right there. I'm really enjoying playing the deck. If you have not seen the deck profile, please go and check it out. It is pretty, pretty good. Uh, I got quite a bit of good uh, positive feedback on the list that it's been fun and actually being pretty, pretty deadly. All right, guys. So uh, this is the end of the video. See you guys in the next. Um, if you guys are listening to this on Friday itself, tomorrow I will be in uh, EU finals in brussels uh, covering the event as a media and uh hopefully this is the first time i'm doing it like a full full on media uh coverage right so i hope i prepared some stuff i hope i am properly prepared and i'll be able to bring you guys more content and from europe itself all right guys see you guys in the next video ciao bye